So if somebody's missing only one tooth, why a dental implant over a traditional bridge? Okay, so dental bridges have been around for years and years and we still do them sometimes, but the way dental bridges are, are work, how, how they work is you would have to drill down, you have to drill down a tooth on one side, you have to drill down the tooth on the other side, and then you have, to, you have to cover both those with crowns, okay? So by doing that, sometimes you wind up with root canals in two teeth. Unnecessary dental treatment, okay? okay? The success rate for bridges compared to dental implants are lower. Most likely, if you do a dental bridge, you're gonna have to replace that within the next 10 to 15 years, at least once, okay? okay. Dental implants, you don't touch any of the adjacent teeth at all, okay? When you drop the implant in there, those teeth on either end are completely healthy. They're in the, they're in the same health state that they were beforehand. And when the implant locks in there, you can eat anything you want, and it's permanent. This doesn't come out. The study shows- What about expense? It's roughly the same cost. It's roughly the same cost for a dental implant versus a bridge, but the implant's gonna last longer. You do the implant, it's pretty much gonna be there to the day you die. The bridge is gonna be need, need to be replaced once or twice over the next 15 to 20 years. That's just the studies on that. And, and when the bridge fails, now you're out two teeth additional. Now you need two more implants placed. So it's Costs, more expensive it in the get, long run? It gets much more expensive to do bridges in the long run than but it why is. Why doesn't everybody do it? Yeah. I, I mean, over a bridge, it sounds great. Yes. People are afraid that might hurt. They they've heard they may have heard horror stories. They're afraid of surgery. They, I mean, it must hurt. I mean, it seems painful. It, it, it's very low discomfort. Our typical patient, when they leave with Advil and an antibiotic, that is it. There's no narcotics. And during the procedure, they feel nothing. Obviously. They feel nothing. They're completely anesthetized. It feels it to me. It's easier. And most patients tell me it's as easy as easier than getting a filling or a crown done on it. Okay. okay. There's no nerve endings in the bone. It goes in there. They don't even know it's in there. And all we do is we slip the implant in there. We place the tooth on there. They could eat anything they want with that without touching the other teeth. And it's cheaper, long term. You only have to do it once. You're not going to get cavities around that at all. It's not going to fail on you like bridges will and crowns will. So that's why I wish the public would, would just be, they would just know more about it. Unfortunately, we get patients every day, they don't know what their options are. And they'll sit down with me and we'll, we'll go over those options. And I'll tell them okay. the benefits between each one of those.